Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Scaler. Um, this is part number four of uh, me going through this demo. And uh, I know everybody's got a different opinions and views about this demo. But in my humble, honest opinion, I like what I'm seeing here. Honestly, there's a lot of options and customizations, not to mention the VR. I know the VR is not present in the demo because if it was, it would be an even longer, more bigger <clears throat> size of uh, gigabytes. You'd probably be like 60 gigabytes. I don't know why they didn't implement the VR. Maybe they're having some issues or whatnot. Or maybe they're finalizing the final VR tests on it. Uh, but there's a bunch of testimonies on the VR. They're saying PlayStation VR is really good. People tried it with the racing rigs. Uh, on this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through some more features that uh, Gran Turismo has. Now, a lot of these features you can also find on Project Cars 2 and Forza 7. And if you want my honest opinion, they're all great. All three are great. You know, I can't just say, okay, one's better than the other. They're all equally great. They're competitors. Uh, but everyone will have different different cup of tea. Okay, how do you like your tea? How do you like a coffee? Everybody likes different types of coffee, all right? So it's the same thing with this. And we should be happy that we have um, variety to choose from. Now, this is my cup of coffee and I'll explain why which I think I already explained in my previous video number one I like the controllers I like how smooth the controllers are I like how they uh, respond and I also like that you have a variety of different options on how much of pressure you can put on the gas pedal how much of sensitivity on a steering wheel and of course to truly experience this game you need to go with a Thrustmaster T150 uh, which is the cheapest route you can get it it has a belt built into it and you can really feel the uh, the resistance on the shocks and the the alignments on the wheel when you're moving it also I want to talk about another thing that's also important in this game uh, the sense of ratio wideness of the tracks in um, Forza 7 I just feel like the tracks are too small like in the Dubai like come on man they're not that tight they're wide they're, they're like really wide roads so same thing in Project Cars too like it seems like it's very narrow it's like very small uh, the roads are much wider okay from one end to the other and in Gran Turismo you feel that sense of wideness when you're like uh, making these tight corners and turns uh, plus the controllers it feels to me much more fluid and that's what I'm looking for when the main reason I got into Gran Turismo hey, let me tell you this in 98 the main reason why I was in such why I was such a fan of Gran Turismo was because of its uh, physics and controls and AI and I felt like man this really feels real this this feels good this is like a good racing game and ever since Gran Turismo I played every single Gran Turismo there is and from one two three ace pack which is my favorite four to the fifth fifth the pro prologue Gran Turismo 5 prologue to the sixth on a PlayStation 3 and of course to this one right now and uh, people also need to understand, Gran Turismo Sport, it's Gran Turismo Sport. It's not a Gran Turismo 7. It's not a full-fledged Gran Turismo. Uh, this has been said from the beginning by the person who designed this game. Uh, I forgot his name. I have to look it up. Uh, you know, it's a Japanese name. So I'm sorry, forgive me if I forgot his name. But you'll know who he is. You can Google it. You know, he's the uh, founder and the uh, CEO of the uh, Polyphony Digital. And uh, he said, on an interview, on E3, he said, you know, this is not Gran Turismo 7. It's not a full-fledged Gran Turismo 7. Forza 7, it's a full-fledged Forza 7. Project Cars 2, it's a full-fledged Project Cars 2. This is GT Sport. It clearly says GT Sport. So it's focused mainly on the GT racing, okay? And for what it has, it's really good. Here we go again, text messaging. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to apologize, man, for, for that previous video uh, yesterday. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is the Gran Turismo Sport, it's not a full-fledged Gran Turismo 7. 
it's a Gran Turismo Sport. And for what it has to offer for a GT Sport version of Gran Turismo, it's pretty darn good. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm judging a game based on what it is. All right, and some of you are judging the game based on what you expect it to be. It's not Gran Turismo 7. If it was a full-fledged Gran Turismo 7, then I can understand you saying why there's no rally, why there's no this, why there's no that, why don't I have this, why, why this is not included. I get that. I understand that. But it's not Gran Turismo 7. Okay, Gran Turismo 7, most likely you will see it like on a new PlayStation, whatever it's called, PlayStation Pro X or PlayStation Pro uh, 2 or Extreme or whatever they call it, or, or PlayStation 5, whatever the name they choose to call it, the next big thing on PlayStation that's going to be coming out. And there you will see the full potential of that Gran Turismo. I heard some rumors that might go to 8K with some ridiculous uh, graphics, because I don't know what they're gonna do with with, Grant, uh, with PlayStation 5. I heard they're gonna go all out with PlayStation 5. It's gonna be like uh, the console killer. You know, it's like gonna be like, it's gonna destroy every, every everything else in its path. Like, these, these are some of the rumors I heard. I don't know if this is true or not, but don't expect Gran Turismo 7 to like maybe 2022 or 2024, uh, something out there far in the distance. So just forget about it. Gran Turismo 7 for now. Stick with this. And this is great. What it has to offer, it is good. So hopefully this explains some of the confusion that you guys might have about, you know, criticizing this game, which I think it's unfair. I defended the Xbox One X when it was being criticized, but I'm also defending the Gran Turismo because it's totally unfair some the way you guys criticize this game. Totally unfair. And from some of it comes from a fanboyistic uh, point of view, and from some of you comes from wishing that it was a Gran Turismo 7. But it's not a Gran Turismo 7. It's a Gran Turismo Sport. It's been said ever since the beginning of development of Gran Turismo Sport. All right? Do your research, guys. Use the Google. Google is your, your friend. You'll find out everything you need to know about development of this game. All right? Now, having said that, having talked about that elephant in the room, taking it aside, now he can leave. Now let's move on. And let me walk you through some of the features that Gran Turismo Sport has. Okay, I'm judging it based on what it has. Okay, that's how I judge anything or rate anything uh, and review anything. It's by what it has inside. Like, what's what are the features? Okay, so that's how I grade anything. All right, what you're seeing here, it's the uh, customization. Uh, you can choose different backgrounds. You can choose white. You can do black. Which I think is pretty cool that you can do that. Uh, you can choose the variety of different paints. What kind of color would you like on your helmet? So you can choose a variety of different colors. You can look at your character, move them out. And uh, these are all the features that are available. You know, this is what I was. This is what I was talking about. When I was uh, saying that I love the, the amount of customizations and features that Gran Turismo Sport has, including the VR. Don't forget the VR as well. That's, that's a pretty cool additional bonus that you're going to be getting. Okay? So <clears throat> it's definitely worth your money. Because you're getting a fully fledged GT Sport game okay it's a sport racing you know have you ever guys watched the gt sports racing it evolves around that okay it's not gonna evolve revolve around uh rally or dirt racing stuff like that it's gonna just focus on the gt aspect of it okay there won't be any formulas there won't be any of that kind of nonsense it's gonna be focused on the gt aspect of it okay which is gt racing if you guys know what the GT is, we'll go Google it and, and you'll find a little bit more about the GT racing and, and you know, it's big in Japan, it's big in Europe. Uh, I don't know if it's big here in the United States, not that much, but uh, mainly here in the United States, it's the uh, NASCAR stock cars, stuff like that. <clears throat> I like this, man. I like this blue color right here. This is, uh, this could be me. This is, a, this is a good color right here. I like it. So I'll go with this. <laughs> Let me see. Looks pretty good though. I like that. <laughs> but 
But maybe I can find a better color. Let's see what we got. Ooh, this is even better. I like this deep, deep, dark blue. I think this is my kind of thing right here. You can also choose the way you want to uh, adjust it. You can adjust it in many different p positions if you want. Which is cool that you have all these options, you know, I'll leave it right here in 75. There's Polphony Digital. Leave it 25. You see, now you get a little bit more of that pop. I like it though, it looks good. It blends in nicely. I look like a Power Ranger or something. <laughs> so we we'll click OK. <clears throat> and we can get out of here. And we can save it, we can choose a background. Okay, we already did that. We're gonna save it. A new design, I'm gonna call it uh, Mr. 4K. Here we go. I'll just call it Mr. 4K, there you go. And you can do the same thing on the cars, okay? You can do the same thing on the cars. You can have your cars uh, painted and adjusted any which way you like. You can also do a suit if you want to. Uh, these are just some of the uh, options here that you have. Like, oh, so if you want to, you can go ahead and. Uh, do a livery editor here and just uh, have a new design on the suit or in the car so you can do have make a new design on it if you want choose a paint <laughs> yeah I like this one this is like a Germany thing or something I don't know So, you know, these are the options that, that, that shouldn't be overlooked, you know. The way I judge the game, it's on what it has. You know what I mean? And that's the way I approach anything. It's like the features that it has. But one of the, the most important features to me, it's the, uh, the controls, you know. Because remember, that's the whole, that's what people are looking for when they're buying a, a racing simulation game. Or if you're buying a flight simulation game, they don't really care that much about the graphics I mean they do but not to the level or to the extent of the level where it's like oh that's it because most of the time you'll be focused on driving you don't have time to be looking around and, and looking at the scenery okay so uh, one main thing that <coughs> professional racing simulator <coughs> I cannot talk <coughs> the haters have gotten in my throat anyway the one thing that true racing simulator fans are looking for it's the uh, the controls like how well are these controls responsive uh, when I connect my racing wheel they all have expensive racing wheels and racing rigs so they're gonna be looking for how well does it work with my racing wheel okay is it accurate or not you know so they they look for that okay and if they can't if they can't have that you know what i mean if they if they don't have that in the game then they're not gonna like that you know they don't care how beautiful the graphics are dynamic weather and all this other crap uh they're looking for accuracy okay they invest so much into these racing wheels they spend 700 800 dollars close to thousand dollars on these racing wheels and rigs and everything so they want the best possible experience okay 
And if this game will give them that, then they're happy with that, okay? So that's, that's to me, the, the key thing that's important in a racing game, in a racing simulator, it's the controls, all right? And here you can choose different paints, like uh, you can choose different colors and whatnot, I mean, we can make this into a cop car if we wanted to, like honestly, I can, can, uh, we can keep it black like this. We can leave it pearl, special color. We'll click OK. Body, the hood. See, we can already, we can already make it look like a cop car if we wanted to. Let's do the others, hold on. We'll, we'll turn this into a cop car. There we go. Kind of, kind of, kind of. And then... A rear wing. We can add some more stuff here if we if we really wanted to. Hold on. But we'll keep it at black and white. Paint pearl. Okay. Side mirror is gonna be the same thing. And then uh Kind of like a cop car or whatever, you know. There it is. But you guys get the idea. There you go. Black and white. I think it's better this way, keep it like that. Okay, now let's uh, do some decals. Let's put some decals on there. You can do a decal texture if you want. We'll put in a hood. We'll choose a decal here. Let's look at some brands here, what we got here. Pennzoil, PIA. We'll put Polyphony Digital, how about that? We'll put it right here. So these are just some of the, the things that you can do. And remember, uh, this video is about features. I'm like, I'm showing you the, the different variety of type, types of features that are available in Gran Turismo, you know. When you accumulate, 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 A-C-C-U-M-E-I-L-A-T-E, accumulate all of it, the features that it has, controls, 4K, HDR, the advanced uh, customization of the HDR, and the exposure of the HDR. When you accumulate all of this stuff, when you put all of this stuff into a pot, uh, you truly are getting a remarkable, remarkable uh, package deal here for a GT Sport game. Remember, this is not Gran Turismo 7. This is GT Sport. And what you're getting for GT Sport is a lot, a lot of features. Okay? 
So let's. We have to look at it from that perspective. We have to look at it from perspective. This is not a Gran Turismo Seven. This is Gran Turismo Sport. So it would be kind of unfair to even compare Gran Turismo Sport to Forza Seven because Forza Seven it's a full-fledged racing game. Same thing with Project Cars too. It's it's a full-fledged racing game. This it's only focused on GT just like Formula One it's focused on Formula One you're not gonna find rally racing in, in Formula One because it's only focused on Formula One GT it's only focused on sport GT sport games okay so people need to understand that And then, you know, you can, there's so many things you can do here, adjustments you can make. You can do a uh, rear wing, you can do the same thing on there, add a layer, put a layer, uh, put a decal. We'll choose something different. Uh, media logo, we'll see what we can put on there, Autosport or, uh, do you want to put IGN? Nah. Access PlayStation, uh let's see access or we'll put a PlayStation with that PlayStation logo right here which I like the Japanese PlayStation logo which we should put it there in the finish editing layer and there you go and then we can put the decals on other parts of the uh, the car we can put it on the, uh, the side mirrors rear ring uh, can put on the body you can add a layer left put it on the left choose a decal we'll go with the uh, media logo we'll put a PlayStation on there which I like where is it? it's right over here uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. there it is so I'll put it like right here There you go, PlayStation. Finish editing layer, and then we're gonna do the do the body work and add a layer on uh, the right side. And we'll choose the same thing. We'll choose the media logo. Put it there. Go to PlayStation. Here we go. And there you have it, you know, uh, this is just, you know, you can spend a lot of time just doing this and creating your own cars, your own uh, decals and stuff like that. Now we're going to go and save it. I don't know if the servers are going to work or not. They've been having some issues with the servers and I'm sure they're going to resolve that issue uh, next week. And save it. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Okay, it's working now. And yes, you have to be connected online to play this game. Uh, that's, I would say, if I have to give this game one negative, that would be it. I'm not a huge fan of uh, being online all the time in order to play. So that's the one negative I have to address there. So you see, I can give a negative. See, I'm fair. If, if I see something that doesn't add up, I definitely uh, will call it out. I can share I can share this if I want to uh, new design whatever we'll just call it uh, PlayStation PlayStation All right. here we go uh, my PlayStation my PlayStation car <laughs> there we go my PlayStation car ah, done there you go I'm gonna share it all right let me let me check my text man
So, um, you know, in this video, you guys can also let me know how you feel about GT Sport. I, I personally like it. I think it's worth it because it is a GT Sport. You know, it's, it's focused mainly on a GT racing. It's not focused on variety of, of different types of racing, okay? It's not that type of a game. So you have to judge the game based on what it is, you know. Um, I really apologize, man, about about this, about me texting while I'm recording. It's it's, it's weird, man. It happens all the time, man, when I'm recording. I, it's just I don't get it, man. There we go. So, you know, I I could spend hours just doing this, and and remember, the whole purpose of this video is for me to show you. Uh, different variety of types of options that are available in the game, you know. And that's what I'm doing here. Uh, you've seen me do races on it. Now you get to see. I mean, just look the type of options you have here. <laughs> just you, you get to see the type of options that are available here on customizing your car, your helmet, your suit. And that's not to mention the options you have on the video editing. Like, you know, when you're recording a replay, you can, like, adjust the replay any way you want. You can edit certain scenes, make it look cool. You can make some cool features. Then you can transfer that into a share factory. And then from share factory, you can transfer it to a USB stick. And then from the USB stick, you can transfer it to your uh, Adobe Premiere. And then even add some more effects there. And then you can have it fully fledged out there on YouTube with some pretty cool, you know, video to come out of it, you know what I mean? So, what I'm trying to say, there's a lot of different variety of options that comes in with Gran Turismo, and I just feel that it's a little bit unfair the way some people criticize Gran Turismo. It's not Gran Turismo 7. If this was a Gran Turismo 7, and this is all it has, then, yeah, I would be with you. I would stand with you. I would say, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. You know, it's, it's not a Gran Turismo. This is... It's a Gran Turismo 7. Why does it only has all these GT cars only? What's going on with the, with the rest of the cars? What's going on with the rest of the uh, tracks and features? So, uh, I really apologize for this. I feel like, you know, I, I, that I'm texting and um, <laughs> I'm recording this. So, I really apologize about this. So, uh, you guys let me know how you guys feel, you know, um, like, I know that, that some of you guys are on the fence, I understand that, but uh, you let me know, do you agree with my statement basically saying it's kind of unfair to be comparing this game to fully fledged racing games like Project Cars 2 and Forza 7. I personally think it's not fair because, and I don't agree with the IGN, I don't agree with the game spot <laughs> because it's not a full, it's not a Gran Turismo 7. If this was a Gran Turismo 7, then it would be head to head in competition with Project Cars 2 and Forza 7. Project Cars 2, Forza 7, they are head to head because they're fully fledged. Uh, racing games okay with a variety of different racing tracks and cars and venues and etc etc this is gt sport 
mainly focused on GT Sport racing, okay? And if you guys are not familiar and up to speed on what the GT Sport racing is, then Google it and you'll find out what it is. Okay, it's big in Europe, it's big in Japan, Asia. Okay, it's kind of big here, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of. You don't barely can even find it on the, on the sports and networks, you know, here in the United States to see it because not many people watch it. So the networks are not going to spend that kind of money showing the GT Sport Racings. Uh, if you have a Euro Sport or if you have Sky Sports in Europe, you'll definitely see that, you know. <laughs> so, uh, let me go through some more features here, uh, just really quick. Just want to show you some more stuff. Uh, it does have the arcade. Uh, you can choose a single race, a race against the AI. You can do a time trial, race, uh, race by yourself against the clock. You can do a drift trial. You can do a custom race. You can do a two-player battle if you want to. Uh, compete against the race between two players. There's a VR tour, but it's not available here uh, You can also uh, participate in, in an official online online race so you can go and play against other people if you want Or you can join uh, you can create a lobby room and people can join you in you know there's also skate photos where you can go ahead and take the photos. Uh, you can go to a different types of uh, uh, venues and you can put your car on there if you want. Like I can go to Nurburgring and then I can uh and look at the graphics man this is ridiculous dude. You see what they did basically they they spend a lot of time uh, measuring the tracks the 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 width the wideness of the tracks to make it more accurate okay so they spend a lot of time and effort to make sure that the tracks and, and everything was done accurately so we have to think about that as well you know when they were I'm not saying that turn 10 is not doing that but I just feel like on Forza 7 that it feels more narrow like the tracks are more narrow they're not wider and I just didn't like that you know okay I guess we can do I guess we can do one race a little bit here uh we'll do like a custom race we'll do a northern isle speedway we'll do that for now or we can do a colorado springs how about the colorado springs a little rally thing let's do a dusk which is at 740 let's choose that okay really quick and we're gonna go with uh I'll, I'll, I'll go with a uh, Volkswagen Jetta. Honestly, why not? Let's do it. And let's go race. All right, it's loading right now. By the way, the music's pretty cool. I like the music in the game. It's really good. Actually, uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. All right, so here we go. It's I like the loading times too. <clears throat> Let's start. This is pretty good. People say that there is no sense of speed. I was like, I I don't know how you don't see it. Uh, there is a sense of speed here. Because you're going, what, 40, 50, 60? That's what you're going to be. That's what 60 feels like. But see, this is my whole point, the, the accuracy of the controller. I love the controller and how accurate it is, like how much pressure you put on the gas pedal. All of that stuff, you know, makes it much more immersive experience, in my opinion. 
Let me see if I can do an overtake here really quick. I'm gonna do my best and see what I can do. Here we go. Oh, oh shit. There you go. Obviously, when you get a racing wheel, you, you will enjoy this hell of a lot much better. Let me move my... See, I'm going to go... See, this is where I like the options. Let me go and move down to uh, advanced settings. Uh, let me adjust the height. Let me move it down a bit like that. And then front to back. See, you can go further or you can go... You can go a little bit further out. Now you're gonna have a much better view view here. So let's go ahead, let's continue. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And then um, So now you have a much better view here. You get to see the uh, the review mirror a little bit better. And you get to see your dashboard, your wheels. Did you see that? Um, did you see that drone that was there? <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And dynamic range, okay? The high dynamic range here, it's really good. It's rendered really nicely. That's the one thing that they really spend a lot of time on. And this is coming from Polyphony Digital. They spend a lot of time making sure that the, the high dynamic range, it's rendered really good. So they spend a big effort to make sure that every and each individual 3d rendering it's presented accurately with high dynamic range on the checkerboarding because you guys know checkerboarding it's a 3d rendering all right in case you guys didn't know in this case 1800p but here's my here's my conclusion right here this is why i like gran turismo controls all right I don't really care if it has super, super photorealistic graphics. To me, it's about controls. The reason you buy a racing game, a racing sim, is because of the controls. All right. The reason you invest into that racing wheel and a racing rig and a racing chair, uh, it's because you want the best possible accurate racing experience. And you're going to get that here with Gran Turismo, okay? But keep in mind, and it's not a full-fledged Gran Turismo 7 game. It's not Gran Turismo 7. It's Gran Turismo Sport. It has some rally aspect of it, but not much, okay? It's mainly focused on GT. GT Sport. And that's all I'm saying here. And, and you know what I mean? And quite honestly, I'm I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, many of you didn't pick up on that. That this is not a Gran Turismo 7; it's a Gran Turismo Sport. I mean, what can I say? HDR here is just uh, beautiful. It looks just beautiful right here. You really have the sense of the light exposure, the reflection and uh, volumetric light that's being exposed with the HDR. It's really natural. And these tracks are all accurate. Everything you see here, it's exactly accurate. There's nothing here that's not accurate or realistic. Every car, every detail, every track, it's measured photo, uh, taking photos, every quarter of an inch, every quarter of a centimeter of the, of the track, it's being measured, scanned. So, there you go, man. I beat the uh, the German guy, Il Iberhard. <laughs> there we go. So we get some points. And what's so cool about this demo is everything that you earn here, everything that you uh, unlock here will be carried over to the full version of the game on Tuesday. So you'll be good to go right away. So that's pretty cool. And then you can check the replay if you want to. You can look at the replay. Uh, 
And like I said, the replay, uh, it really looks great. You can do a slow motion if you want. Uh, you can change the camera target selections right here. You can do a replay option. You can do a standard variable. Uh, leave it like on that variable right here. And you can use a photo mode if you want. Take the photo while you're doing it. You know, uh, you can go right here and uh, check the camera selection. I, ch I chose this one. Uh, you can zoom it in. You can put the effect if you want. You can try different different effects right here. Bleach eyes, pop art, sepia, nostalgia, dazzling. Uh, there's a lot of features here for you to choose. It just just look how many features and options you have just for the, for the photo mode, let alone the replay mode, which is very extensive with video editing. <coughs> On top of the excellent uh, controller racing controller that, that this game accurately represents so you know this is how I judge this game I judge it based on what it has but I don't compare it to Forza 7 and Project Cars 2 because this is not a Forza uh, this is not a Gran Turismo 7 if this was a Gran Turismo 7 like full-fledged Gran Turismo 7 then I guess you could actually you know put them put them side by side and head-to-head -head in competition but it's not uh, so there's many different types of uh, features here I'll just leave it like as it is uh, you can put film grain if you want to you can do your own custom film grain and keep it like this so you have different variety of custom options right here. Uh, which is cool. You have uh, lens uh, distortion you can use as well. Which is cool right here. I like that. But we're not going to mess around with that. We'll leave that at zero. There's a glare. You can use a color firing and get the colors popping. So these are all individually uh, set custom options that you can that you can utilize, which I think is pretty cool, man. You can choose the glare. How much of glare would you like? So there, you guys get the idea just how big uh, this is in terms of just editing. Then you got the exposure right here. You got the. Uh, individual color tone correction you, you can look at this man you can check the brightness you can you can do a uh, color correction here and uh, you can just pinpoint and calibrate colors the way you wanted them to be and just 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 ridiculous amount of features man like I said this video could be two hours for me to go through just to show you how how much features they are but I'm just going through some of them a little bit just to to pinpoint as to why I think this game is worth it all right you're getting a lot of accolades here not to mention the VR that's also being given to you as well okay so there's a lot to like here but I know it's not for everyone I know it's not for everyone. I get that, man. I get it. It's not for everyone. That's okay. Let me get a good shot. Like, this is a good shot right here. Well, let's just watch the replay a little bit here. Let's continue. That looks great, man. Huh? All right, this is a good uh, this is a good spot right here. I'll go ahead and take a photo. Let me go ahead and uh, take a photo here. Here we go, right here. I'm I'm gonna take this photo. This is a great photo right here. 
Uh, it presents the HDR. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just keep it like this. This is a good photo right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, right here. I'm, I'm going to, there we go, right there. That looks pretty good, like right there. I love it. You can put the elevation, like how do you want the elevation right here? Uh, there. We'll get rid of the grid. <laughs> oh, we can leave the grid on, that's fine. And we'll take a shoot. <laughs> There it is, it looks fantastic, you know. You can still zoom it in. You can still zoom it in, look at it, and move it out. And then uh, right here, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna share it. Should I share it? Yeah, I should. I'm just going to call it uh, Mr. 4K Rally. Mr. Mr. 4KW. Wolst Vagen. WW. So done. Enter text. Just put the Mr. 4K. WW. There we go. I don't have time to go through all of that stuff. I'm just doing this as an as example. You know, like a test example. That's all. So you guys can see all the options and features. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so I'm gonna end this video. It's been about, it's been a very long video. Remember, the whole point of this video was to show you more features, in-depth features that this thing has. And like I said, I personally like it. I like the, the demo. I like what it has to offer. Uh, obviously, there's a hell of a lot more features available and more tracks and cars in the full version of the game but what i'm seeing here is pretty good my only negative is like like i said one tiny negative is you have to be online all the time but that's okay because you know everything is online these days uh like i said but i think they could have choose not to be online and have you play offline as well that would have been cool but other than that, uh, I mean, I like it. Uh, I think it's great. It's it's my cup of tea. I like the controllers, uh, especially if you have a racing wheel, a really good racing wheel. You're definitely gonna enjoy this game. You know, I personally like it. You guys don't have to like it. I understand. You know, maybe it's not your cup of tea, but it is my cup of tea, my cup of coffee. I like it. You know, one main aspect that I like of this game it's the uh, the controls. So, so for me personally, in a racing simulation, control, uh, accurate controls are the key. All right, I'm not gonna have fun with a game where I constantly have to tweak the controls, like in Project Cars, to constantly have to tweak each car differently. Uh, Gran Turismo, I mean, Forza 7 is great. I like the controls too, but they feel more like narrow and arcadish, if you know what I mean. Here, they feel more realistic. That's what I'm trying to say in my opinion. Alright guys, well there you have it. Hopefully you like this video. Take care.